Okay then, Nigel, taking a look at these two setups. As we said, your 7-iron grip for me was just stronger. And that therefore made your club come back to the goal for a lot straighter impact. Got you in those draws when you did strike the ball better. It was obviously going a bit more left than you're used to. Because I think you set the driver up in your mind having the hands behind the golf ball. It made your left hand grip now get a bit weak. So you can see your left arm now kind of creating a bit of an angle there from the shoulder down to the shaft there. Hands are a bit too far behind the goal. So when they come back into impact more into this position, that club face now is going to be open. So what you were finding you were doing... Top of the back was pretty good. Got the club back here nice at the top. And then from here now, everything in your power is trying to send the golf ball to the left. This foot never really moved. You pivot around this left hip quite a lot and just swing your arms as hard left as you can. Sort of see your elbow bending up here now into your chest. They're trying to flick, scoop, bend everything in you possibly can to send the golf ball left to target <clears throat> and finishing very much flat footed. Now we compare this one here where the hands are more in a straight line from that shoulder. Again, not a massive change. Probably felt more than what it actually looks visually. But with the left hand now in a better position, we can get to the top of the backswing. Same good move. Now we can shift our body this way, like you were doing with the 7-iron. We can get onto that left foot a little bit easier, get a much better contact now, and then through to target, finishing now more in that left-sided position. Now, even though it's a driver and we want to be getting slightly up on the ball, the ball position further forward at address that you're going to have, you can see there, is going to create that upward strike or shallow angle of attack that we want. We haven't got to try to create that by leaning back, scooping or pulling to the left. So get that left hand, uh, hand should I say, a bit more left to centre, a bit more into that sort of similar position where you want your seven iron there. And then from there, you can move your body more effectively. If one does slice the right, ignore it, fine, go and find it, whatever it needs to be. If we get three, four, five in a row and we're getting a sample or a good pattern of shots going that way, then you might have to make the adjustment there with your grip there at setup just to try and get back into your neutral. You probably found if a few start slicing again, you've gone back to your old hand position behind the golf ball and the grip getting a bit weak. And then what you then do because of that shot going off to the right, as we said, stay on your back foot, pull to the left. And this is obviously going to result in a lot of bad contacts. We're going to be topping shots, <clears throat> hitting the golf ball far too far on the way up and swinging too far left. Again, topping, towing, probably more slicing anyway. So get the handle forward a bit more, similar to what we said with that 7-iron. And then from there, make your normal swing from here now because the club's a lot stronger there, Nigel. We can swing and rotate through, get into that better finish position up on your left side, hitting the ball a little bit further and a little bit straighter. So I hope that makes sense, buddy. Any questions, obviously, give me a shout and I'll catch up again soon. Cheers, mate.